I'm Hester. And I'm Maria. And together we are... The Consort Counselors! All ensemble players know the feeling. You are holding a recorder that is bigger than you ever played before and you think, how do I ever get a beautiful and good sound out of this instrument? So, today we bring you a few tips to get familiar comfortable and sound beautiful on the largest recorders. And actually these two instruments we are holding right now, we are very, very grateful for because we've borrowed them from two very good friends. This Kung contrabass in F belongs to our friend Paul Baus from Utrecht. And this is the Mollenhauer Denner great bass in C, which belongs to our friend and colleague Eva Leo. Thank, Thank you, so, you much. so much. Today we are going to focus on two major aspects, posture and fingers. Next time we are going to focus on airstream breathing and articulation. instruments focus on having a good body posture. In a nutshell, you should feel balanced and you should feel free of any unnecessary tension. If you are standing, keep your shoulders back, body straight, the knees slightly bent and the feet a little bit separated. If you are sitting, put your feet flat on the floor. Find a chair which allows your knees to be a bit lower than your hips. Relax your shoulders and keep your head straight. To be able to keep this good posture while we are actually playing, we have a few tools that may help us. Often the crooks of bigger bases are adjustable. Always check if the tube has the right length for you so that both hands are able to reach the keys without having to stretch too much, while preserving the good posture of the rest of the body as much as possible. Many modern great basses and contra basses have a spike that you can adjust to change the height of the instrument. When the instrument is higher, the right hand may be more comfortable, but if you set it too high, the left hand and the neck may suffer. Look for the best length for the spike and crook to suit your best body posture. If you are very tall, you may even want to have your instrument higher than the spike allows. Don't hesitate to use a little stage so that you are really comfortable. Make sure that your hands don't have any tension and that the fingers are falling naturally on the keys, making a 90 degree angle with the instrument. A good way to find a correct hand position is to first let the top fingers find their natural place on the instrument and then add the thumb behind. with an F passet or a C bass or maybe even a heavy tenor and there are no spikes or stages, you can always use a sling. Adjust the sling so that the mouthpiece falls naturally on the right place. If it's too high, your neck will be tense. If it's too low, your hands will have to work hard to hold the instruments, creating tension. Remember that it also has to look properly for a performance. If you have the choice to play with a nice stage or with a spike, we would recommend you to choose this over a sling, simply because there is less weight to carry and you have more freedom. When you have to play on a large recorder that does not have any supporting devices of any kind, try to find the very best balance you can. Watch out, for example, that your position is not too low, not too vertical, but rather uh, look into the horizon and make sure you can balance your instrument as much as possible on the right thumb and that gives freedom to the fingers. Then occasionally you may use a support finger here and there, but your basic position will be good for the fingers. 
another word about comfort. We remember very clearly when we were teenagers that it was not comfortable at first to play on large instruments. Your body needs to get used to your muscles holding the instrument. Don't give up too easily. Practice cleverly. Start with short sessions, focusing on posture, finding the best position for your fingers and increase the duration of your exercises every day so that your muscles have time to get used to the instrument. For us the golden rule is pain and especially shooting pain is really bad. Stop immediately because we don't want injuries. But like in sports, a little bit tired muscles or sore muscles is not so bad at all and it will get better eventually. A very common problem when you are starting on the large recorders is that not all your fingers are reaching the right keys or closing the holes properly. We want to recommend you an exercise to improve and fix this. First, use only your left hand and close all the holes. Then check that the pitch is correct. Then Lift your fingers one by one, starting with the lowest one, and then let it come back immediately to the low pitch. Can you do the very same thing, but lifting only the second finger? And how about one finger above that? And also the thumb. With this exercise you can easily check if you are really coming back to the right low pitch or if something has changed when you move the fingers up and down. Let's do each and every step one after the other and keep track of that beautiful low note. The resulting fingerings don't need to be real pitches. It's all about feeling the holes so that you really close them properly. Closing the holes should feel rather easy without pressure. Lifting your finger should be a little bit more active than closing the hole. In this way you also greatly reduce key noise. Now it's time to involve the right hand in the exercise as well. And we are at first not going to involve all the fingers, but only numbers four and five. We do the exercise as we just did before, first lifting the lowest finger and then the finger right above. Remember to focus especially on the good quality and full sound of the lowest note you produce in this exercise. <laughs> If it goes well with fingers 4 and 5, you can add the rest of the fingers of the right hand. If you notice during this exercise that you are not able to produce the low note again, then it means something is not properly closed. Very often the troublemakers are the left thumb and index, because that stretch is quite big, or in the left hand it may be that things have moved a little bit up or down so feel the keys and the holes under your fingers try to figure out which finger do you need to pay attention to if all of this is not yet working and you don't manage to get the low notes with the right hand first go back to the left hand only feel really comfortable with that repeat the steps we mentioned two fingers then all the fingers bit by bit it will come sometimes you need if you really feel you cannot stretch your fingers that much to reach the holes there's always a solution to do stretching exercises i used to do the following every day stretching exercises always do so very carefully and never go through the threshold of pain. Mm -hmm. 
Do you know what the lowest recorder in the world is? It's the Contra Sub Bass by Petzold by Kunat, which goes a whole fifth under the lowest string of a cello. Do you want to know more about it? Check the link in the video description below. Bye bye! See you next time!